going to look at creating reports in Access and going to make use of the Access Reports task sheet. This is using the queries created using the Access Queries task sheet. First one we're going to look at is relatively simple. Create a report using the query 28AB friend your name. All we need to do is save the report and print it. A report in Access is a way of displaying a query or table in a more pleasing fashion. All we have to do is highlight or select the object that we're making a report of, go up to the Create tab, opening the Create ribbon, and then click on the Report button. This creates a basic report of the data in the current query or table to which you can add features such as groups or totals. So for level 1 all we need to know is how to produce a report. It is almost as simple as just clicking this button. But once the report is created there are a number of things that we may have to change. F to begin with we can see I've got my first name column here and the program has totaled that column for no apparent reason. To get rid of this total all I have to do is left click over that object and press delete. Note that in this example I've still got a blue line where the total was so again if I left click over that object and again press delete. Second problem with this is that my Pro, uh, my report prints over two pages. I can tell because I've got a dashed line <coughs> around the edges of my print area. The easiest way to resize the page to make it all fit onto one sheet of paper is to resize these columns. To resize a column all I have to do is click inside the column position the mouse cursor towards the far right hand side of that column press and hold the left mouse button and drag in and we can do this for each column just to make sure that everything does fit nicely the page number that appears by default has also slipped onto two pages again if I pr click on this object and then press and hold the left mouse button I can drag it in to the body of the table. This is all that we need to do with this report to save. Again a difference between 2007 and 2010 is that I have the file menu and save object as instead of office button save as. All I have to do is save as, that will open the save as dialog box. We need to make sure it's a report and then type in the name that we're asked for. In this instance it's 28AB friend your name. And then report. Remember when you're typing in file names you do have to make sure that you follow case exactly. So I've saved my report and I can tell by the change in the name tab to print this again if I say file and print and it's always best to check the print preview beforehand just to make sure that it does all fit onto one page or it is in portrait or landscape depending on what you're asked for right so that's creating a relatively simple report if we look to task number three we're asked to create a report using the query old R lum, your name. Ensure all fields are added to this report. This merely means make sure that everything in the query can be seen in the report. And then ensure the report is in landscape orientation. And we need to change the title of the report. So there's much more that we need to do for this one. And it's more akin to a level one question paper. If I go back into Access and I can close this report. Again all we need to do is first of all select the correct object and then it's create report and then get rid of the total. 
To rename the report, all we need to do is click over the initial title name, which will always be the file name of the object. Single click gives us the orange outline. A second click opens up the text box and gives us the cursor. I can delete what's in there already and it's London Drivers and then your name. And what you'll see as I type in my surname is that the text box isn't quite long enough and we're starting to lose information at the column headings. All I have to do is click outside of the box to confirm it's typing and it has shifted it down. If you want it all in one line we can just position the mouse back over that box, left click to highlight it, and then I can drag the box wider. This has shifted the date and time onto a second page, but again all I have to do is click on that object, get the double-ended arrow, and drag it back in. We also need to change this page to landscape. The easiest way to do this is in the print preview. So if I say file and print and then print preview, you'll see we've got the page layout options. Merely clicking on the landscape orientation button will apply landscape. And again, we just have to file and save typing in the correct name and again making sure to follow capitalization of the question paper and then to print we could select print and again print preview to make sure it's all correct and all on one page and then just send it to print so that's creating reports and do be aware, once you've created a report in your navigation pane, there's a new se section, Reports, and this is where they will be saved.